Hello guys, I have nowhere to sit because I don't have a chair at my desk. You don't know how much stuff I had to move off of this desk because I was keeping like a bunch of fidgets, like a whole box of them, actually. Wait. I know you're gonna, I'm gonna use these to sit on because I don't wanna just sit without a chair. Like it doesn't work. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Then I'm just sitting like this. Yeah. Alright, now it's time to watch this Darman video. I consider this my first video because in the first video I posted, that's not me. I mean, obviously I'm not a cartoon. So this is the first video I'm posting with the face cam. So we're going to react to this Darman video. I have not watched this at all. I do watch some Darman, but that was like a while ago, so he has new videos out. And I've been looking at them, I'm like, that's interesting, that's cool, I see new videos. And I want to watch this one. Which team shames girl at their store? Why is the rich girl Those at their store? Those shoes? I would have. They're so hot. Yeah, and I love how they go with your new bag. Yeah, I was actually oh thinking that I could wear it with this one outfit. Yeah. Ah, excuse me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so <sighs> sorry. Laura? Let's just talk about how she's wearing sunglasses. Like, it's not even, it doesn't even look like there's enough sun for you to be wearing sunglasses. That's how you know she's shady. She's wearing sunglasses. All right, now let's, let's Hi, continue. Kendra. Wait, do not tell me that you shop at the thrift store. Uh, yeah. I just picked up some really cute things. Co what? Look, look, look at, look at what she's wearing. You see the girl in the middle? Look at what she's wearing. It looks like she got it from the thrift store. No offense. It might be a popular brand. I don't know, but it looks like she got it from the thrift store. So, let's continue. Cute. It's my way of saying cute. Oh, got it. Let me get this straight. You think that buying other people's used stuff is cute? It's really not that bad. You save a ton of money. Plus, most of this stuff has hardly been worn. Look. Say, I cannot, I don't understand why you do that. Like, why do you make fun of people that shop at the thrift store? Let me show you something I got from the thrift store. I don't shop for clothes, but if you do shop for clothes, wash them before you wear them. You don't know who had them first. Let me just show you this. I know I could, you know, but... This. I got this. It's like a giant mermaid thing. I got this from a thrift store. I got that from a thrift store. That was a nice deal. I got it from a thrift store. So, let's continue with this video because like 17 years ago. No, I could never wear someone else's old smelly clothes. That's disgusting. Seriously? Ew. Yeah, I can't believe you're gonna wear all that. Oh, it's not for me to wear. It's for me to sell. What do you mean? Seriously? Ew. Look at your face right now. Look Look at their faces, especially the, oh my goodness. I'm just not gonna say anything about their faces. I'm starting a business where I customize clothes and shoes and I make them look cute. Like, check these out. That's interesting. I bought mm -hmm. them used and then I added my own blend. Okay, um, okay, sorry, I had to go do something. Okay, let's continue. To them, and you'd never even know they cost less than ten dollars, okay. right? Wait, you're wearing ten dollar shoes? But those shoes are cute. <laughs> gotta be joking. Kendra just spent over six hundred dollars on a pair. <laughs> oh, our Uber Black just got here. I'd love to stay in chat, but we gotta go. And I'm just looking. So you're wearing Gucci, but you you didn't she say she was wearing Gucci or some expensive brand? But she's driving an Uber. Her dad can't pick her up. She don't have a car. I don't know. They look like they should have a car. They look they look at least 16. Shouldn't you have a car? Let's continue. For you, but that little business idea of yours is never going to work. You might just want to return all that stuff and get your, I don't know, $12 back. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like her name will be Tiffany. <laughs> I'm sorry, but she does. So... That's my plan, to own my own clothing store. And who knows, maybe I'll even own my own makeup line one day. It's very impressive. I don't I think I'd buy makeup expensive. from you. How do you plan to fund it all? Oh, well, that's why I created this business plan to pitch to investors. 
And if they say no, I'll just ask my dad. He's got a lot of money. And that makes sense. All right, well, great job, Kendra. Okay, her name's Kendra, not whatever I said, Tiffany, but... So, that's not her money. She's flexing her dad's money. See, this is the problem. I don't get why you people that have rich dads or rich moms, y'all are not flexing y'all's money. Y'all flexing y'all's parents' money. Okay? Like, why would you do that? That's not your money. That's not your stuff. You don't own anything. All kids, they're broke. We haven't... Only if, like... The only thing um, that I really suggest, like, that is your money is, like, if you do something for the money and they give you the money, like, mow the grass or do a chore or take your sister out, I don't know, like, something like that. I consider that your money if you get it from there, but all kids are broke. Y'all just flexing your parents' money, so don't be talking about their stories, people. I'm going to actually speed this video up because I'm not used to watching videos with, like, normal speed. This might be a little bit too fast, but, I mean, I would go, I would put it on faster, but. Treat yourself. Okay, let me just pause this since we got to add. Okay. All right, well, great job, Kendra. Let's see, how about Laura? Awesome job. Why are you wearing a ruffled dress to class? Why? This is this is not steak night. This is class. I'm surprised they even let that her wear that. Look, she's showing her shoulders. Mm, she's showing her shoulders. Um, I don't know about y'all, but when I was younger in school, you couldn't show your shoulders. And you, you'd only really dress like that on picture day. If you like real, real rich, you'd dress like that on picture day. But otherwise, you wouldn't wear that to a normal day of class. You wear something like shoulders because you can't show your shoulders in school. I don't know why, but they, they made that a rule. Yeah, you killed it. Thanks. <laughs> this should be good. Whenever you're ready. Okay. So I've actually already started my own business where... <laughs> Is there something funny about that, Kendra? Yeah. When you say you've already started your own business, have you sold... Wait, so she's making fun of her because she... That girl, the girl that shot up the strip store, she already got her business. This girl, she's still making her business. She don't even got, she got it planned out, but she, she not doing it. Over here talking about she couldn't have a makeup line. You haven't even started your business. Set a goal. And then once you reach that goal, set another goal. Just limit yourself to two things. Well, she did, but if you, if one is like really big, then just focus on that one, then to the next. Especially like business planning and stuff, you gotta do one at a time. Not yet, but I plan to after school today when I set up my. Uh, I'm not talking about the future. I'm talking about now. Have you made a single dollar in sales? Um, no. Then you don't have a business. You just have a dream. Don't get them confused. Hey, be nice. Sorry, Laura. You can continue. Okay. So I have a dream to start a business where I take used clothes, make them cute, and then sell them. For example, take this shirt. I cut off the collar, add some bling to it, and with that, I made this necklace. Wow, that's so creative. Yeah, I can't believe you made that. Thanks. And the best part is that I can sell it for just $7 and still make a profit. <laughs> $7? Are you kidding me? What's wrong with that? My business plan has me making $2 million in sales my first year. What are you going to make selling $7 necklaces? Oh, well, I'm not too worried about that. I was taught... Oh, she did already start her business. Okay, you study your business? Then... Okay, start your business. It's good for you, but keep it to yourself and stop making that face. I don't like that. Ew. Let's that when you do what you love, the money will always follow. I actually really like that. With that mentality, she'll always be shopping at the thrift store. <laughs> Kendra, what? I can't tell the truth. Sorry you didn't get a chance to finish, Laura. But excellent presentation. All right, class. We'll pick back up tomorrow. You know, 10 years from now, while you'll still be buying used stuff, I'll be shopping at Hermes and buying Birkins. I'm really happy for you, Kendra. <sighs> hey, don't let Kendra get to you. She thinks because her dad has money, she can treat people however she wants. Personally, I love your idea. Really? Thanks. Hey guys, you wanna come check out this stuff? Sorry, I don't have time. Okay, no worries.
Hey, any of this stuff interests you? I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> well, let me guess, no one's bought anything yet? Not yet, but I think someone will soon. So, this is your business idea, huh? To sell a bunch of used stuff on some bistro tables? <laughs> well, just to start, I plan on posting everything on Facebook and then getting my customers on there. No one buys anything on Facebook. Yeah, that's never gonna work. Well, with the way social media seems to be going, I Excuse me, nobody buys stuff on Facebook. When I visit my grandma, she's always buying jewelry. I swear, she every time I go over there, and it's the day that that lady is selling jewelry, she's always buying jewelry off of Facebook. I swear, she's always doing it. But the lady she goes to, she's always just talking and talking and talking. So she never, she barely gets jewelry. Like, she barely sells it. She does sell it, but you know, nobody wants to hear about your personal life. We just want to get the jewelry. You should make another, if she wants to talk about stuff, her life, she should make another thing. She should sell jewelry and then have that other Facebook. I think they will one day. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. No matter where you sell, no one's going to want to buy your used trash. What's your problem, Kendra? I haven't done anything to you. Why do you keep being so mean? Aw, you think I'm being mean? I'm sorry, that wasn't my intention at all. If I was trying to be mean, I'd probably do this. <laughs> hey! Why would you do that? Because that's where it belongs. Just like that necklace you're wearing. It's all trash. Hey, is everything okay? No. Kendra just threw all this stuff in the trash. Are you serious? I can't stand. All right. You should just ignore everything she says. I try to, but sometimes I can't help but think, what if she's right? Maybe my idea will never work. Hey, don't say that. I really like your business. Thanks. But like Kendra said, it's more of a dream than a business. I would sold anything. That's not true. What do you mean? I'll take one bling necklace, please. <laughs> really? Okay, thank you. Here, thanks for being my first customer. So, I guess that makes me a second. Uh, I'll take that one. Thanks. Um, I need two, three, four, five, six. Shoot, I've only got six dollars. Oh, that's okay, don't worry about it. Are you sure? I feel bad. I know you don't make much off of these. No, it's, it's fine. I do this because I love it, not because I'm here to make money. Thanks. I can't wait to wear it. And just like that, Laura made her first sales. She would take things she bought from the thrift store and customize them to make them look cute. That or, is cute. should I say, cute. She started taking pictures of all of her pieces and posted them on social media, excited to find some customers. She sold her products everywhere she could, and things seemed to be going great. That is, until she realized that her sales were really slow. People didn't really seem to be interested, hmm. and nobody was seeing her Facebook posts. Laura started feeling like her business was a total failure. And then one day, she even decided to give up. Ugh, great. What else could go wrong? Well, 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 look who it is. What do you want, Kendra? I'm not in the... Look at Shady McShadester with her shades. So you know somebody shady? I'm just going to listen to them. Rude. Why do you seem so upset? I don't want to talk about it. Now please leave me alone. Let me guess. That little dream of yours didn't work out? No, it didn't. That's why I'm here returning all this stuff. Is that what you wanted to hear? Oh, I'm sorry. Can't say I'm surprised, though. I tried to warn you. Well, I guess I should have listened. Hey. Don't beat yourself up over it. I'll tell you what, my dad has agreed to fund my business, so after it takes off, maybe you can come work for me. I'm sure I'll need an assistant to carry all my Birkin bags. <laughs> I will not carry her hey, crusty uh, Birkin bags. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to return all this stuff if possible. Oh, um, we actually don't typically accept returns, but since you shop here a lot, maybe I can go talk to the manager. Just give me one second. Thank you. Laura? Hey! Hi, Miss Jacobs. What are you doing here? I just came to look for some things. After hearing your presentation a few weeks ago, I've become quite hooked on thrifting. Check out this belt I bought from here. Can you believe this only cost $4? That's amazing! Uh, thanks. So, what are you doing here? Um, uh, I'm just returning some stuff. You don't need all of that for your business? Things didn't work out like I'd hoped, so I decided to give up. No, don't say that. You barely even started. Why would you give up so soon? In the past couple of months, I've made less than, like, a few hundred dollars. My whole plan to sell things on Facebook, let's just say, was a bad idea. No one bought anything. Well, let me ask you something. Are you passionate about the products you make? Well, yeah. And do you love what you do? I did. I mean, I guess I still do. Why? Then you shouldn't give up. Because a wise person once told me, 
you do what you love, the money will always follow. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I almost forgot that. Don't worry about how much you sold. Just keep going, and everything will fall into place. You're right. Thanks, Miss Jacobs. I'm, I'm never going to forget this. Anytime. Arm and Hammer Plus OxyClean with oh Odor Plaster. Stains yeah, are removed. Yes. And All right. Well, uh, let's do a little break since we have that ad. We're going to do a little break. We'll let's have a joke with Reaction Raccoon. Uh, that was so funny. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was paused. But Reaction Raccoon would like to join us for the rest of this reaction. All right. Let's continue. So, good news. My manager agreed to let you return everything. Actually, I've changed my mind. But thank you. Okay. Well, have a good day. Bye, Ms. Jacobs. Wait. One more thing. What's up? I've been hearing a lot of my students talk about this new app. It's called Instagram. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but supposedly it's all the rage. Maybe you should try selling there. I'll definitely check it out. Thanks. You're welcome. And by the way... That belt is so cute. Thank you. With a new level of excitement and motivation, Laura decides to keep going. She keeps making all kinds of new products, including customized shoes, necklaces, and clothes. This time, when she takes photos, she posts them on Instagram. And people all over the world start to discover her work. Over time, her following explodes. She ends up with millions of followers and thousands of customers, all loving her photos and excited to buy her products. Her business became even more successful than she could have ever imagined. And eventually, she even started her own cosmetics company. With a little bit of help, of course. Hi, guys. Hey. Babe, but what do you think of this palette? Oh, it's cute. You mean Caillou? Oh, my goodness. Is that Darman? That is Darman. Darman has a child? I mean... Yeah, he does have a chat. Yeah, I remember, like, I think in one video, his wife was pregnant. So, that makes sense. They have a girl. All right, now let's continue with this reaction. <laughs> I like that daddy. It's so cute. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Here's your strawberry acai refresher. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Your 12 is in the conference room waiting. Oh, perfect. Do you mind putting that in my office and grabbing my bag? I left it in there. Oh, yeah. No problem. Thank you so much. Okay. All bye. Right. I like Good a romantic kiss. Aww. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Good luck. Thank Bye. you. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, I'm here to apply for a job. I didn't realize you worked here. But I thought you started your own business. Oh, well, that didn't exactly go according to plan. My dad's still pretty mad at me for losing all of his money. Oh, no, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's fine. I'm actually here to interview for a senior manager position here at LifeBam. If I end up getting it, who knows? I might still end up being your boss. Oh, well. Hi. Hi. You must be the owner. I'm Kendra. It's so nice to meet you. I was actually just talking to your assistant here. <laughs> oh, um, she's not my assistant. She isn't? <laughs> no, she's my boss. Laura owns this company with her fiancé. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wait, is that a Birkin? Mm hmm Do you mind if I... Of course. Wow, I've never held one of these in person before. It's so nice. I thought she could have selling seven dollar products from the thrift store really worked. Well, you can say that. Gosh, sorry to interrupt. Hi, I just got a message from HR. Sally accepted the senior manager offer. Oh wow, so that means that this position uh, unfortunately this position is no longer available. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll totally reimburse you for your time. I mean, is there any other position available? Just the assistant position. Oh no, Kendra would No, that's fine. Honestly, I'll take whatever I can get. Oh, okay. Then have a seat. Oh, here's your bag. Thank you. So, I'm dying to know. How did you get to where you are? Well, it's like I've always said. When you do what you love, the money will always follow. I remember. Hey, babe, uh, no rush, but our Uber X will be here soon. Okay, thank you so much. I'll be right there. Okay, thanks. With all your guys' success, you still ride Uber X? I mean, there's nothing wrong with being thrifty. Well, not for everything. <laughs> right. All right, so let's get this interview started. Hey, Darman fam. I hope you loved that video. It was actually inspired by... Wait, does she have her own business? Let's finish this for... Reaction raccoon. I forgot your name. Goodbye. Thank you. We'll see. Laura's true story. So you used to buy things from the thrift store? Yeah, not only the thrift store, but garage sales as well. I used to buy used items and turn them into my own, kind of like this collar I made. You made that collar? Yeah, I just added some chains, some bling, and made it super cute. Oh my gosh, you're so creative. So I'm sure a lot of people are watching. 
wow, she actually did this in real life. She's just reenacting it to one of her husband's videos. I think that's great. That's amazing. So glad you could do that. Oh my goodness. Um, if you want to know, like, what my... Ooh, sorry. I'm going to save this for another video. Because this video is getting kind of long. You can speed the video up. Make sure to like and subscribe if you can. I'm not saying your bad things will happen if you don't. But just do it if you can. Because I don't want to spread uh, non-positive messages. So, goodbye.